Alrighty, we're gonna take you out. Okay. You guys, it's Fire Leopard. If you told me 10 years ago that there would be a 100 seat theater that I would go out of my way to do little shows at. Well, what's y'all taking me for, David Popfield? <laughs> I would have told you that it was pretty hard to imagine. I'm not gonna stop off in, you know, Frisco, Texas and do a show for 100 people, but I do. I think you can't just put a theater in your house and expect it to change a culture. I think you have to care, and I think that's what Randy and Christy do. They care so much. When I first got to know Randy, I just knew him as the guy that was into magic, and then later I find out he is beyond the nice guy who likes magic. A lot of people know Randy Pitchford as the founder of Gearbox Software, but I know Randy as a man who is fighting to keep magic and the variety arts alive. He is a people person. He loves to bring joy to other people. It's as simple as that. Come in, you guys can come in closer. Get in, get in right up against the bar. I'm gonna tell the story of how the Peacock Theater got its name, and um, before I begin, I'm gonna warn you. This is a ghost story. Variety Arts have been on the endangered species list since the death of vaudeville. TV, you know, ate vaudeville alive. You could have an act and you could do it for years. There were so many circuits and theaters. You'd see magic, you'd see dancing, you'd see acrobatics, you'd see music. Things can go wrong. Variety Arts just need to be done live. They could wither away and, and vanish forever. The work that Randy and Christy are doing here at the Peacock is just going to make Variety Arts explode. I have no idea why Randy and his wife chose to put this theater in. I can only say I'm so very happy they did. It's just such a joy to perform for people that want to be entertained. It's my favorite place on earth. It's a pure, passionate love for show business. It's in the bones of the house. It's in what they've built there. It's a place for weirdos and freaks to actually belong. It's a great place to work. And it's one of the few places to work again. Creating a feeling and an experience for anyone else, it's what animates me. It's just a beautiful thing. I love that so much. If the variety arts become a bigger part of American culture, we will look back at the Peacock as being where that started.